Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Mount and Blade Warband, Prophecy of Pandora 3.93. We are trying to get back to our home territory without fighting people that we're not interested in. And the main reason is that we should also try to become on better relations with this faction here. And we should be on good relations with every faction. What, you're running from what? Ah, okay, from... Um, the Lord. Yeah, we're not joining faction versus faction fights because then we're gaining f relations with one faction and losing for another. For example, if Solron is fighting uh, the Dashar and we're joining in on either side, we're getting bad reputations with the other side. And we want to be on good relations with everyone. That is very important later on. Also, when we're on good relations with um, villages, which we should, Oh, we should switch horses when we find those guys. And we should get our bow out. Beautiful. Let's get them. Yeah, I have a nice hat on my shoulder. I know that. Now, as I said, when you're joining a fight, you're gaining reputation with a faction. The better or the, the worse the uh, fight goes, for the faction you're helping, the more reputation you will gain. So, for example, if you're helping someone fighting um, 20 bandits and he has an army of 400, you will not gain a lot of reputation. If he's alone and he's fighting 20 bandits, you will gain a lot of reputation uh, with him. Ooh, that was a beautiful, beautiful shot. I'm killing those guys or those ladies because I am hoping that um, I have a spare horse if they kill mine with the arrows and stuff, um, axes and stuff. So we should try to help someone that is in need as badly as possible. So we could even wait until his troops are nearly depleted and then jump in for the kill. But we must also be careful. For example, if you want to help the Noldor, um, yeah, you must find someone who is strong enough to fight the Noldor and bring them into trouble enough that it gives you reputation. However, if someone is strong enough to bring the Noldor into trouble, the question is, are you any help? So, for example, if you say, um, okay, I'm simply waiting until a Noldor troop rushes into an army of the Jetu and then I'll help, help them out. Yeah, yeah. How? I mean, if those guys can handle it, how the hell can you? Oh. I didn't switch horses, did I? No, I did not. I'm an idiot. Why didn't I switch horses? I'm fighting this Viking guys and I didn't switch horses. That is stupid. To say the very least. I mean, I could switch to the black horse there but only if my horse gets hit one more time in hopes that it's not immediately going down. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this guy still have something to throw. You can see it by the way that they walk, that they still have something to throw. As always, keep your shield up high. If we want to get hit, we want to get hit in the leg. We don't want to get hit in the horse, uh, in the, oh crap. We'll take the shield on the back for obvious reasons, because if the shield's on the back, um, they're hitting us in the back, um, the, the horse, um, the shield, and not us. And our horse is crippled. That's bad news. Well, we have spare horses, so it's not that terrible. And they keep hitting the horse. Are you insane, sir? Would you please stop mangling the horses? Well, at least they're done now. Horse is crippled. That's bad, but not terrible, because horses can heal. Depending on your healing skill and depending on the time that you give them to heal, um, this is not necessary. Ooh. Pretty impressive shot, by the way. It is not catastrophic that the horse was um, hit, because against the Vince Carey Raiders, um, 
our horse speed is not that important because their horses are not that good. So for example, if we were fighting um, the Shar, this would be lethal because with a crippled horse, we cannot outrun them. Or if we're fighting Chitu, we cannot outrun them. Now you say, Boris, you were talking about reputation. Why not help the heretics and become on good terms with the heretic or the snake cult or something like that? You can become on good relations with them temporarily because while your relations with the good faction or non-hostile factions um, can stay higher than zero or will stay higher in zero if you don't do anything stupid, um, this is not possible with the... Um, hostile factions. So snake cult, heretics, that kind of stuff, they will always get angry with you. No matter what you do, they will go back to being negative or zero. And why should you? I mean, they're not important. You could say I want to become uh, good relations with them because later on um, they're in my territory and I am not wiping them out that fast enough. So the faction will attack my lords and my patrols and I don't want that to happen. And then I say, okay, that makes sense. But you're insane, are you? I need more arrows. And I need my club. Do I have my club? No, I don't. I was clever enough to change the weapons, but not the horse. What? That does not make any sense. We're training bow because we're good with the crossbow. It's time to train the bow a little bit. And against this guy, training is possible. When I can choose what I train, um, I try to equal both things out. So again, to sum things up, Oh, you're insane, are you? Oh, wait, are you running? Are you really running or are you attempting to make me make a mistake? By the way, if I were running the Imperial Stallion thingy, then I could theoretically even... Um... Oh, that was a good hit. You're pretty fast, I'll give you that. Haha, <laughs> right in the fields, wasn't it? You should go off now, you have enough. I said you had enough, as did you. Don't play tough on me. Come on, you're not that tough. Yeah, I knew it. Let's carry warrior down. The one with the big shields are always the toughest. So let's try to shoot center torso and not the head, although she puts out the head so nicely. How about some running? You're not you're not the running type, are you? No, she is. And that should be a freebooter. Yes, it is. How about you, sir? All your people are dead, and you're not running. That's strange. Come on. You're alone. You're hurt. And you're not that tough. You should really run, my friend. Okay, he is running for the... Oh, crap. I'm too slow. He might get away. No, he's not. No one gets away. Beautiful. And we've got a level up that we should immediately use. Put that up to 15. 
we increase our trainer to five, then we're done with five, we increase our spotting, and we should increase our wound treatment. Good work. Yay, we now, the armor sadly isn't as good as it should be, but that is life. We must increase our inventory management skill, though. By the way, there are other ways to get good... Um, oh, speed 63, that is pretty bad. Uh, 36, that's pretty bad. Um, there are other ways to increase your reputation with a faction. For example, saving a lady in waiting, doing quests. There's more than one way. Um, that thing is still lame, so we're switching it out for this one. It's the better horse at the moment anyway. And we should always have our club with us. Let's go to Senderfall and sell stuff. There are more pirates. We'll go after them next. Wait, what is that? Silver Mist Raiders. Well, if they go into trouble, what is this? Ravenstein Archers. Yeah, I'll get after you, but uh, give me a second. So much good loot. Beautiful. Tavern. Do you know anything? Ooh. Hidden chest in rain. Yeah, I'll pay. Beautiful. That will help a lot. That is Donovan. Donovan is not going to help a lot. Um, are you buying flax? No, you're not. And the prices you sell for the you give me for the flax are unacceptable. But at least we can get rid of all the loot. That is too much. Do you have good iron prices? It looks a little bit like you're in iron or tools. Yeah, kind of, but we're not, not, not that interested into trading at the moment. Okay, beautiful. I should buy myself another shield for the back. A shield that I can use if possible. Yeah, but they're always shield skill, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I think the only shields that I can use are the shields that you can put on your back. Oh, beautiful armor, by the way. But look always at the uh, lower end, because they're quite good armor stuff that is not that expensive and still really, really good. So I'll leave it for today. See you all next time. Bye.